Welcome to Community Arts Kitchen. First, make a nice dark mix uh, with this instant coffee over here. I'm going to put um, a teaspoon of the instant coffee into the water and give that a nice good stir. If you use hot water, this is going to um, dilute faster and better. Mm, I can smell the nice coffee scent here. Okay, so that's probably good. And then set the spoon over here on the paper towel. Over here I have just um, clear water and let's close the coffee up so we don't make a mess. If you have any kind of shallow dishes um, to make different uh, tones of your coffee ground, um, that would be great. So I'm going to lead you through that right now. What do I mean by different tones? So um, in art, it's nice to have a variety of um, values. And so here is a value study that I'm going to guide you through first. So we're going to create a very, very dark value, a medium and a light value with our coffee today. So let's try to attempt that. Um, and of course, you're going to need some sort of paper to paint on. This is watercolor paper. So if you have watercolor paper, that's uh, going to give you the best result because this paper um, can absorb the water. If you don't have watercolor paper, any kind of um, recycled uh, birthday card you can paint on or um, some packaging paper or cardboard would also work. Okay, so we are going to create three different values. Oopsie. And I'm going to um, use a watercolor brush. This is just a regular non-fancy brush really from my classroom. So I'm going to um, put some of this dark, dark coffee in here. No water added to this anymore because I want this to be my darkest value. And now I'm going to try it out on my paper and I'm just going to stroke from the bottom up like this. And um, this is going to be this nice dark value. And now I'm going to add the dark coffee into my second palette area here. And now I'm adding water to it. So maybe one, two, three, four scoops of water. Um, and you can kind of see in my water makes a nice um, tone as well. So I'm going to clean my brush and wipe it over here and see if that made it any lighter. So give that a try. Yep. So that looks like a good medium value. And now you guessed it, we're going to make the lightest one. So I'm actually going to borrow some of this color, put it over here and just add more water to it. Do you see what I did there? It's easier to get your lighter value. And let's um, paint that on here. So here's our super, super light value, but you can still see it dark, medium, light. So we're gonna set that to the side um, and we, we have them here in our palette to paint our flowers. So we're gonna let this dry and I wanna show you how um, in part two, I'm gonna guide you how to um, do line work on top of these um, value studies, which could be a beautiful art piece on its own. Here's another one. Um, this one I made four. So um, again, this is in class two where I'm gonna show you how to embellish your coffee paintings. All right, so I'm going to start with a clean sheet of paper and I would like to guide you through how to um, paint California poppies. Uh, this is a wildflower guidebook of Northern California's um, areas. And right now it's springtime and the poppies are sticking their oranges heads out. So um, I want you to notice where the 
uh, light does not hit the petals over here and where they're overlapping is the dark value, medium value, and the lightest value. So that's kind of what we're going to imitate. We're not really trying to paint um, super realistic flowers. So um, here we go. I'm going to start whoops, with my darkest value and I am just gonna relax my shoulders and just gonna go for it. Before I actually paint, I kind of practice. This is kind of how I want the stem to go and then I just go for it. Here we go. Now to do the petals, I'm gonna have you just roll the brush this way and stamp it. So this is petal number one and then maybe roll it that way. Petal number two, another one over here, petal number four, and excuse me, three, and then um, the fourth one, we can maybe come in from this angle. So this could be poppy number one. Um, if you wanna do leaves, they have these really fine um, feathery kind of leaves. So I'm gonna just swoosh, swoosh, swoosh with my brush like that. Okay, now um, to do one with your lighter value, please wash your brush out, dab it a little bit on the paper towel. Now um, grab your medium value, and um, I'm gonna do the petals first on this one. And what that does is when you, when you create one with a lighter value, um, it, it's going to appear like it's farther back. Now you do want not to touch the one that you just did with the darker valley because otherwise they're gonna run together. Okay, and here is its stem. Swoosh, like that. Okay, so now sometimes it happens when you move your brush across, little drops will happen. Thanks for watching. Community Arts Kitchen was created and developed by Barbara Libby Steinman and Anna Rochester. See you next time.